This video is being sponsored by studywebdevelopment.com. You can start up your own freelancing business and build up your clientele with the bundle that they offer, which includes things like an easy to read 100 page ebook. Everything from marketing to the coding itself, all that you need to know is provided to you. You even get website templates that allow you to build websites even faster and get up and running right away. If you're interested in being your own boss and or creating an amazing and fun side hustle, then check out studywebdevelopment.com. The link will be in the description. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the video. I am officially out of training. So that means I'm no longer going through any onboarding or any of those onboarding meetings anymore. I'm finally getting to do the work that I have been waiting to do for a very long time. So I'm going to just bring you along the day, show you what's been, what's going on, what it is we do, and uh, kind of what my day to day is going to look like for a little bit and uh, talk to you a little bit. So let's get to work. All right, so now that I'm out of training, what does that mean? What am I going to be doing now? A lot of people have actually been asking this question and so here I am in a vlog answering it for you. What I've been doing for like the past three or four months is is just onboarding. So what that means is I've been going through trainings. There's a specific like itinerary and I guess you could say syllabus of like certain weeks I'm learning certain things within my role. It would just be one week is this, go to the next week, go to a different person and you're learning something new, which was very, very informational. I liked it, it was just for me, me, uh, as some of you guys who might know me more personally, I want to be into the thick of things. I want to be working on something. So as I was learning through things, I was getting really, really antsy because I wanted to be in this particular moment that I'm in now, which is being in the queue and actually working on tickets. That's the situation I'm in right now is now that I finally graduated, I've turned the tassel over and I'm now able to get into the queue and actually start answering tickets now. Now, what does the next couple months entail for me is exactly that. So our process is I will have tickets assigned to me from my reviewer. I'm just gonna go in, answer some of those tickets, draft a response, and then if those responses looked okay, then the reviewer will be like, all right, let's go, ship them out, reply goes out, and rinse and repeat. That's pretty much what my day-to-day is going to look like as well as some troubleshooting, you know, learning through some of these tickets because not every ticket is created equal. Not every ticket comes with a particular problem that is ultimately the same. So, you know, you're getting different tickets from different people and they all look very different. So at the end of the day, you know, you're, you're constantly learning, you're constantly on your toes, you're constantly trying to, to do your best to be resourceful. And that what that mean, what I mean by that is, you know, asking your teammates, going to documentation, things like that to kind of get your answer. So that's what I'm going to be doing. And today is the first day that I finally get to do that. So I'm waiting for tickets to get assigned to me right now. Once I have them, then I will be going forward and actually um, answering some of my first couple tickets here in a second. As I'm prepping lunch, I kind of want to just talk to you guys about like what kind of content I'm going to be going after now because I've had a kind of a shift in mindset as far as what comes to the content. So in the past, I've done a lot of computer science stuff, coding content, things like that. And now that it's kind of come to the point where it's hard for me to do that, I think I'm going to go more into the direction of me doing more me stuff. And what do I mean by that? Me doing more lifestyle stuff, me doing more day in the life vlogs such as this one that I'm doing right now, maybe more fitness stuff, tech reviews, things like that because I genuinely think that right now I wanna lean more into the curiosity of you guys, bring you guys along the day where it's really just focused on me and you get to see how I create content, how I do 
certain things in my life because I don't know I feel like I can make this kind of kind of content a little bit more interesting So let me know you what you guys think about that in the comment section below But that is where the content is going to be going more into and I think that I've had more of a realization when it comes to that Recently, so expect more stuff like that to come in the near future but right now We're gonna be eating lunch really just a simple one. I have rice cauliflower. These are really cool packs that come in like this big old box from Costco Rice cauliflower with some bell peppers, corn, um, and it's like mixed with this sauce. It's really, really good. So it's like really nice rice cauliflower um, fried rice. And then I'm going to pair that with some gyro slices with beef and lamb. Uh, right now it is 1.30, so kind of a little bit of a later lunch, but I like to take little late lunches anyways. So we're going to have that right now, get back to work. And then we're gonna be heading to the gym later. And I think I'll do it more of a interesting day with that because today is actually, we're maxing our back squats. You can potentially see us put up some numbers. So let's see how that goes. All right, y'all, at the gym. Y'all can't hear that. We're going for some PRs right now. Going for back squat. I'm at 320 right now. Last PR was 355, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, the whole squad's going for a PR, so let's get it. Here we go. Let's go! What do you have to say to your fans? Ow. <laughs> like to give a shout out to myself, the woman behind the camera. I don't got much room on the bar no Working more. with these Nimrods. Sorry. Here we go. Doing it for the fans. Look at that booty. Get out of here, little booty. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. Come on. You got this. Come on. Push, 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 push. Yeah. Let's go. Oh my god. Dude, that was I was so lightheaded through that. Holy <laughs> you ever wondered what it's like to do Mar math at CrossFit Willow Glen. Just tune in. Is that twenty five? Yeah. Is it? I'll let you guys know how this ends. All right, fam. We believe we've done the math for 360. No guarantees. Let's go, Jay. Man of the hour. You guys know him as Chow Codes. We know him as Justin. Jay. Sometimes we call him Walnut. Let's go. Drive, drive! Uh, All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is for the Chow Code fan. He's about to hit this weight. This is what we would call a PR. It's known as a personal record. All right, Jay, let's go, go! Look at that booty. Look at that booty. Let's go, Jay! You got it, you got it! Excuse the language. All right, y'all, so got home from the gym, had a great dinner, watched uh, Invincible. If you guys haven't watched the show Invincible on Prime uh, Video, Amazon Prime or whatever it's called, y'all need to go see it because it's absolutely amazing. Highly recommend it. But anyways, there is a topic that I wanted to talk about with y'all. So let's talk about it. So there is a question and kind of like a topic that a lot of people ask me on social media, whether it be Instagram or on Twitter. And that's kind of balancing like a work life or having a work life balance. And a lot of people can kind of have their own perception or idea of what that looks like. But for me, today was a prime example of that. You know, I get to work an amazing job for my nine to five. I get to work with an amazing company. And you know, before 
I feel like I would have definitely been carried away with that. And what set me up for success here is having the coworkers that I have, the team members that I have, where their emphasis is on me as a person and not me as an employee or as a number. See, I feel like especially with work from home, a lot of people can get carried away and lost in their work. You want to just stay up and just do the work, right? It's like sometimes, if, especially if you're in software development or software engineering, or you're doing something that you love to do, you can get carried away with that. You can get lost in the sauce, essentially, and really kind of just lose yourself in that. And what I'm saying is today was a prime example of how I'm balancing, you know, work life, where during the day, I'm having a great time. I'm pumped that I'm out of training. I'm excited to get to work but as soon as I'm out of work I'm out and I'm with friends I'm having a good time I'm having a blast with my friends as you guys can see uh, we're just at the gym we're making PRs we're just having a great time at the gym and that's all that life is for me it's having a great balance between you know doing a job that I genuinely love to do having you guys create content for and all at the same time as soon as five o'clock hits boom I'm out the door I'm going to the gym and I am letting out some of the stresses that I may have and I'm also socializing and just having a great time with the community that we have at the gym as well as the people that I have in my friend group and I that's I, I, it's so essential especially now that again a lot of people are remote a lot of people are working from home you need to have a balance you need to have some sort of of structure and system where you can sign off and go do something else. There were a couple questions in my in my poll that I set the other day at the time of this recording. You know, one of the questions or something that someone had asked me was, how do you balance your life right now? You know, how do you stay happy? How do you stay productive? How do you how do you have this drive to go do what you do right now? Balancing work, balancing gym, balancing content. There's a lot that goes into it. How do you stay motivated? And it's exactly this. It's it's having a work life balance. It's it's not getting burnt out, setting myself up for success and not setting myself up to get burnt out. It's having a group of friends that are super, super supportive. I mean, if you guys didn't just see Sarah's absolute amazing content creation right now in filming me and providing you guys with uh, insane amounts of entertainment in terms of the commentary, that's the kind of stuff that is amazing to me and that I'm very, very blessed to have in my life. That's what it is to me. And you know, what I have in my life is terms of work-life balance doesn't necessarily also have to equate to you. Yours can be very, very different or similar depending on your specific situation. So at the end of the day, you need to know what makes you happy and what brings you joy. If that's the gym, go to the gym. Either whether it be in the morning or the afternoon, my crew works in the afternoon, so I'm usually there late at night. If you like to go in the morning and you feel energized and pumped up for the rest of the day, then by all means, go do that. If you have a group of friends that don't go to the gym, but you know, you guys go hang out, go hang out. You guys get the gist. So that being said, it's 10 10 right now i should probably get ready for bed so that i can get right back to work but thank you guys for joining me on another day i hope you found some of this entertaining and the tips at the end here were somewhat valuable for you because i know that with my adjustment in the new house and the new job it all comes with it and it was definitely something that i'm prioritizing right now is work life balance just having that in my life is what's keeping me afloat what's keeping me happy and what's keeping me motivated and driven to keep pursuing new heights in terms of content creation and in my career so hopefully that helps you guys in some way shape or form but that being said that's gonna be it for today i will see you guys on the next video peace